Hi everybody, Dave from Polypad here, and I am excited to share with you our February 2023 Polypad updates. We have a number of updates, uh, many with our fraction bars. We've added a lot to our sonification of tiles and the animations that go with those sonifications. We've added the ability to split algebra tiles, new ways to evaluate expressions, and a few other small features at the end, which I'll share. So here I am with our fraction bars and fraction circles. You may know that I can use these handles to change the number of pieces or the amount of the fraction bar that is shaded in. A new feature under the advanced menu is to use a toggle whether to show this as a unit fraction or not. So when I turn this off, I'll see this as 2 fourths and 1 fourths. And if I extend this, there is 3 fourths, 4 fourths, and so on. I can use those handles to change the size of the fraction bar and I can always go turn that toggle on and off if I want. It works on fraction circles as well. So I can turn that toggle here to just show that that is four fifths and then make changes as I go. Awesome. Um, we've also increased the ability to rename fraction bars and fraction circles. Previously to this update, the ability to rename would stop at 30 seconds. Now it goes all the way up to 60 fourths. Uh, so if I zoom in on four fifths here, I'm going to use the button in the action bar called rename. And you may know that it'll only make equivalent fractions. So four fifths will go to eight tenths, and then it'll go to fifteenths and twentieths and twenty fifths, thirtieths. Previously, it would stop here at thirtieths, but now it'll go all the way up to sixtieths. And if I wanted to, I could click this split button and get one of the pieces just like that. So there is a 60th piece. Here, because this is 4 fourths, it'll make all equivalent fractions, fifths, six, sevenths, eighths, ninths. And as I click, it's going to go past 30 seconds all the way up to 64. So I'm not going to go all the way. You get the idea. So you can make any size fraction up to 64. Those pieces were pretty small. And so we have also added the ability to um, to change the size of a fraction bar or a fraction circle. Let me get those off the canvas just to show you. So here's a fraction bar under advanced menu. The, the default scale is 10. I can make it smaller and have a scale of five or even go much bigger and make it 15 or something and so on. And that works on the fraction circles as well. You can change the size of the radius of the fraction circle. Wonderful. You may know that you can play the fraction bars. That has been on Polypad for a while, but we've now added the ability to play the fraction circles. Nice. And if I turn off the unit fractions, it'll be one continuous sound. Great, but the real updates to our sonification and tiles come to our polygons and the ability to change the animation and the labels of what you're hearing when you play a polygon. So you may know it starts as a default on the perimeter. We've added the ability now under, under the music tools to change it from perimeter to area. Watch what happens with area. What a great, a great animation showing the concept of area for students. Let me play that again. Awesome. And I can also change it to angles and see the angles. I'm going to turn on show labels. I hadn't had that on before. Watch what happens now with show labels. Great. This square is a def is is uh, has an area of one square unit. So if I go back here and change this to area and push play, it'll show the area of this shape in those square units. Oh, so great! I'm doing this on our hexagon here, but it works on all of the polygons. So here is the custom rectangle. I can turn on area and show labels and push play.
So exciting. Oh, I can't wait to share all the ways that I would use these with students. I'll make a number of Polypad pointer videos on these tools. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out uh, the Polypad pointer playlist. All right, moving on, we have also added sonification to continuous functions. So exciting. So let me add a coordinate grid to the canvas. I got to zoom out a bunch. I was really zoomed in on those polygons. So here is a coordinate grid. Let me give myself a little room here. There's the coordinate grid. And let's add some functions here. I don't know. I'm going to use the equation editor. Let's just do y equals 3x minus 4. And I will graph this. There is y equals 3x minus 4. And I'm going to push play. And we can listen to that graph. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. And let's play this. Here we go. Nothing, nothing, nothing. But when that line hits the graph, nice. If I make it negative 3x minus 4 going the other way uh, with a negative slope. So great. What if we do uh, 1 half x squared? What's that going to sound like? Click on the coordinate grid, push play. Oh, of course, and I can't not play sine x. That's just going to be fun to listen to. In fact, let's do sine x and y equals cosine x on the same graph. We can listen to both of them. Of course, I got to make this a little bit bigger. And why not make it a different color? We'll go purple and attach that to the graph. And then I can play them both at the same time. Oh, it's so great. Again, be on the lookout for Polypad pointer videos on some teaching ideas, how you can use these great tools with students. But I just want to continue to show you all the updates. We've added the ability to split algebra tiles. So here's an X tile and an XY tile. And y tile, we can split them. There's an X over 2. I can split it again to get an X over 4. Same with the X and Y. XY over 2. XY over 4, and so on. Again, so many ways the, the, the ability to split algebra tiles can be helpful with students. So be on the lookout for that. Let me keep moving with the updates. We've changed how you evaluate expressions on Polypad. So I'll just add 4 plus 7 here. Uh, what we had before was a toggle under the settings that changed whether all expressions on the canvas were evaluated or not. Now, for an individual expression, when you go to the advanced menu, and you can turn on the, the option to evaluate this expression. So I click Evaluate, and I see that's 11. And if I want to turn it off, I can turn it off. As a teacher, if, if you are making a canvas to share with students and you want to turn off that ability for them to evaluate expressions, go watch our video on changing polypad settings, and you can see how to turn off specific actions on canvases. Um, three quick things to show. We now have the ability to add a hyperlink to a text box. So if I just type mathagon.org, it'll automatically make that into a link that I can click that will take me to mathagon.org. If I want to move this test, this box, I can click and drag to select the text box and move it all over the screen. It will also include that as part of, of other text. Please go to student.desmos.com and enter in a code. I hit enter, and it automatically makes that a link. Now, because I'm not clicking on the link here, here when that's just a link, I need to click and drag to select the text box. Now that it's, it's part of a bigger text box, you can see if I click on this, it'll open the link, but I can click over here to move the text box. That's great. Two last quick updates. We've added the ability to flip a number frame. So I can take this and flip it around. That's kind of nice. And on our geometric construction tools, here's a line. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on the line, go to the advanced options. I can add a bar to the line, or a double bar, or an arrow uh, to show that it might be parallel to something. And then I can also decide if I want this to be 
a ray going off in one direction infinitely or a line that will go off in both directions or back to a segment. And when it's a segment, I can decide uh, what options I want at the end of the segment in terms of arrows. So I can put them both. There we go. So many great updates for February 2023. Thanks for checking out this video. Again, to, to find out about our updates, as soon as we share a what's new video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and go check out our Polypad Pointer series. So many great ideas for how to use Polypad uh, in your work. Again, thanks for watching.